you can't afford the uh, pre-mixed paint brands like MRP and HANA for this SU-34 paint scheme. So I would have to experiment on mixing my Tamiya paints for the teal green and blue hues. This is one of my longest and difficult paint jobs with a build to date. Basic color mixes were from the use of primary colors, blue, white, and yellow. This is a Tamiya Rebox kit dated back 1999. It's an old mold. The scale is 1 over 72. I will add some styrene to the uh, cockpit control panels to add some semblance of accuracy for the platypus. Well, this is not Teal green or turquoise uh, control panel paint is a mixture of white at 70%, blue at 25%, and yellow at 5%. Adding some seatbelt straps using masking tape. Once the two fuselage halves are joined together using a masking tape, the fun part in aircraft building begins. Extensive sanding, sanding, sanding. Day two. Filling gaps can be done in several ways like acrylic putty, another one is the super glue, but one way, effect, one, one way that is affected in gap filling, based on my experience, is a stretched screw plastic. As a good measure, I try to add putty over the stretched screw.
One eternity later. I add some bevelled strip styrene on the tail for detail. Once I have sanded and smoothed the surface using several grits, I use a car wax polishing compound to make it smoother still for better paint adhesion and finish. Applying primer paint. Then washing the landing gear and wheels is achieved by first coating it with gloss clear, then coat it with mineral spirits and a thin animal paint for wash. Apply or rub excess with a cotton bud. Painting the thrusters, I used several metallic colors and a uh, pigment.
As you see, the experimental paint mix has a hue of teal green. I was able to adjust to a more bluish hue by adding more blue.
since this was an old 1999 kit. The decal had gone brittle. I should have sprayed that clear gloss coat first. Oh well. As a final step, I sprayed the whole kit with a flat coat, making sure that the canopy is masked.
Thanks for watching. Scale modeling is fun. Copyright 2020 at Ivanthetterable. I am not an expert but I love creating dioramas. See you on my next build.